The French National Centre for Scientific Research French, Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, CNRS, is the largest governmental research organisation in France and the largest fundamental science agency in Europe. In 2016, it employed 31,637 staff, including 11,137 tenured researchers, 13,415 engineers and technical staff, and 7,085 contractual workers. It is headquartered in Paris and has administrative offices in Brussels, Beijing, Tokyo, Singapore, Washington DC, Bonn, Moscow, Tunis, Johannesburg, Santiago de Chile, Israel, and New Delhi. Topic. Organization CNRS operates on the basis of research units, which are of two kinds. Proper units UPRs, are operated solely by the CNRS, and mixed units UMRs, are run in association with other institutions, such as universities or INSERM. Members of mixed research units may either be CNRS researchers or university employees maîtres de conferences or professors. Each research unit has a numeric code attached and is typically headed by a university professor or a CNRS research director. A research unit may be subdivided into research groups equipes". CNRS also has support units which may for instance supply administrative, computing, library, or engineering services. In 2016, CNRS counted 952 mixed research units, 32 proper research units, 135 service units, as well as 36 international units. The CNRS is divided into 10 national institutes. Institute of Chemistry Inc. Institute of Ecology and Environment INEE Institute of Physics INP Institute of Nuclear and Particle Physics IN2P3 Institute of Biological Sciences INSB Institute for Humanities and Social Sciences INSHS Institute for Computer Sciences INS2I Institute for Engineering and Systems Sciences INSIS Institute for Mathematical Sciences INSMI Institute for Earth Sciences and Astronomy INSU The National Committee for Scientific Research which is in charge of the recruitment and evaluation of researchers is divided into 47 sections e.g. section 41 is mathematics section 7 is computer science and control and so on Research groups are affiliated with one primary institute and an optional secondary institute, the researchers themselves belong to one section. For administrative purposes, the CNRS is divided into 18 regional divisions including four for the Paris region. <laughs> Employment Researchers who are permanent employees of the CNRS are classified in two categories, each subdivided into two or three classes, and finally each class is divided into several pay grades. In principle, research directors tend to head research groups, but this is not a general rule a research scientist can head a group or even a laboratory and some research directors do not head a group. Employees for support activities include research engineers, studies engineers, assistant engineers and technicians. Contrary to what the name would seem to imply, these can have administrative duties e.g. a secretary can be technician, an administrative manager of a laboratory and assistant engineer. All permanent support employees are recruited through annual nationwide competitive campaigns. Following a 1983 reform, the candidates selected have the status of civil servants and are part of the public service. History The CNRS was created on 19 October 1939 by decree of President Albert Lebrun. Since 1954, the centre has annually awarded gold, silver, and bronze medals to French scientists and junior researchers. 
In 1966, the organization underwent structural changes, which resulted in the creation of two specialized institutes, the National Astronomy and Geophysics Institute in 1967 which became the National Institute of Sciences of the Universe in 1985 and the Institute National de Physique Nucléaire et de Physique des Particules INTP3, English, National Institute of Nuclear and Particle Physics in 1971. The performance of the CNRS has been questioned, with calls for wide-ranging reforms. In particular, the effectiveness of the recruitment, compensation, career management, and evaluation procedures have been under scrutiny. Governmental projects include the transformation of the CNRS into an organ allocating support to research projects on an ad hoc basis and the reallocation of CNRS researchers to the universities. Another controversial plan advanced by the government involves breaking up the CNRS into six separate institutes. Leadership Alain Fuchs was appointed president on 20 January 2010. His position combines the previous positions of president and director general. Topic. Past presidents Claude Frajax René Pellet Édouard Brezin Gerard Meggy Bernard Meunier Catherine Breshignac, two thousand and six to twenty ten. Topic Past Directors General Jean Coulomb, nineteen fifty seven to nineteen sixty two Hubert Curian, nineteen sixty nine to nineteen seventy three Robert Chabel, nineteen seventy six to nineteen eighty Pierre Papon, nineteen eighty two to nineteen eighty six Francois Korolski, nineteen eighty eight to nineteen ninety four Guy Aubert, nineteen ninety four to nineteen ninety seven Catherine Breshignac, nineteen ninety seven to two thousand Genevieve Berger, two thousand to two thousand and three Bernard Larouturu, two thousand and three to two thousand and six Arnold Migas, two thousand and six to twenty ten. Topic Some selected CNRS laboratories APC Laboratory Centre d'Immunologie de Marseille Lumini Centre d'Etudes Spatia des Rayonnements Centre Européen de Calcul Atomique et Moléculaire Centre de recherche et de documentation sur Lochini, Institut de l'information scientifique et technique, Institut de recherche en informatique et systèmes aléatoires, Institut d'astrophysique de Paris, Institut de biologie moléculaire et cellulaire, Institut Jean Nicod, Laboratoire de phonétique et phonologie. Laboratoire d'Informatique, de Robotique et de Microelectronique de Montpellier Laboratory for Analysis and Architecture of Systems Laboratoire d'Informatique de Paris 6 Laboratoire d'Informatique pour la Mécanique et les Sciences de l'Ingénieur Observatoire Oceanologique de Bagnols-sur-Mer Soleil Mistrals Topic. See also CNRS Gold Medal Centre pour la Communication Scientific Direct